not a whole lot of jobs where you can fly jets and drive race cars all in the same day. It's a, just a real kick in the pants, uh, taking off uh, in a heavyweight U2, just feeling the thrust of that engine and climbing up to slip the surly bonds of Earth as we do. When you're up at altitude and you see things like the Terminator line and you start to see the flat horizon of the Earth start to curve, it kind of makes you feel small. Um, where you realize you're just a really tiny piece of this big thing that's going on that I can't even really perceive. You can't grasp the entirety of it, but you see night physically taking over the daytime because of this big black line is moving forward over it. Uh, it's, it's humbling. And if you're flying the right direction, you can actually see nighttime creeping up on you. And it's just this big, dark line that slowly overtakes. We do utterly amazing things out there that we can't then go home and talk to our families about. And we can't talk to people in an interview about because of the classification level. And uh, we don't want um, you know, that sort of stuff uh, getting compromised. The U-2, when it started out, was associated with the CIA. The CIA ran the program, um, so a lot of people said, okay, if you're CIA, then you're a spy. Uh, later on in the U-2's life, it transitioned to an Air Force program where it's only Air Force officers flying it. Um, and at that point, it's, it's reconnaissance operations. It's military reconnaissance that's, that's happening out there. Um, another aspect of uh, misconceptions that I see out there, uh, occasionally in the news, you'll see the U-2 referred to as a Cold War relic. And uh, that always makes you, people who are around the YouTube community sort of giggle because you know that the people making those statements uh, aren't fully informed. If you go out on the flight line, you can see what the U-2 is doing. It's a different airplane. It's bigger. It's more powerful. It's got modern, up-to-date sensors that do amazing things. Uh, you couldn't really construe that with a uh, Cold War relic. There have been many periods of time where the U-2 has been on the chopping block. Uh, and people said it's, uh, it's been around for a long time, it's now time for it to make a graceful exit. And each time, uh, commanders out in the field hedge. They go, no, I don't think we're quite ready to get rid of this yet. It's still providing us with some awesome uh, intelligence gathering, and we really think that we should keep it around for a while. And time after time, the U-2 uh, sticks around. So that's got to tell you something about what it's providing for combatant commanders out there.